Hi, this is Brianne Susi from HealingPetLoss.com. If you are grieving the loss of a beloved pet and you feel like the pain is too much and that you will never be able to have another pet again, this video is for you. Because our pets love so unconditionally, they are so loyal and so devoted to us, we open our hearts to them and share a bond that is unique and unlike any other bond and connection that we have. And the pain we experience afterwards is like losing part of our heart, part of our soul. And we all react differently and deal with the grief differently. Some people want another pet right away because they know or they feel that that new pet will help them through the grief. But others, they feel that the pain is too much so they can't bear the thought of loving someone that deeply again and then experience this kind of pain again. But there are some things that you can do. First of all, the pain can be caused by different things and that can also determine the approaches we may take. Maybe you feel that the emptiness is that tangible emptiness that occurs after the losing a pet is, is too much. It could be that you are experiencing a devastating guilt. You did something that you regret doing or you failed to do something that you feel you, feel you should have done. It can be many different things that are part of that pain that cause that pain. But the first thing is to allow the grief to be there, to acknowledge your grief and to take the time to begin with. You don't have to think about, unless you get drawn to a specific action, you don't have to think about getting a new pet. Just focus on dealing with your grief right here and right now. And in the beginning, we, especially if the loss and the, the passing was painful, then we focus very much on the pain of the, the loss and the whole process leading up to the passing that we fail to see and acknowledge all the positive things about our life with our pet. So that's also why a memorial ceremony or you could call it a celebration ceremony can be helpful. Together as a family or if you're alone by yourself and create a ceremony that makes sense to you from your heart where you celebrate your life with a pet, where you celebrate their life, share fond memories and in that way bring out a lot of gratitude and joy and it will give you an experience of having the grief and the joy simultaneously and the realization that the grief and the joy and the gratitude it can go hand in hand it's not just one or the other and that can be an important reminder as you move forward through your grief that it's okay to allow both the grief and the joy to be there and they can even switch during a day, you can experience great joy from a memory, a fond memory you have of your pet, or it can be the pain of the loss comes up. And that roller coaster of emotions is part of the grieving process. One important thing is the daily practice of gratitude. It's so simple, but it's one of those practices that eases you into the present moment, that eases you into the now and you can focus on what you're grateful for, express what you're grateful for right now in your life and then also in the same practice focus on something about your life with your pet or one of your pet's qualities that you're grateful for. That way you have that mixture of your life now and your life with your pet. And with the pain of 
when you have that feeling or you don't want to have a pet again. Part of that can also be because there is so much love and so much sadness that needs to be expressed. And there are many ways of expressing that sadness, but also expressing that love that you have. And look within and see what makes sense to you. It could be writing, you can write your pet story, you can make creative, artistic um, expressions, collages, paintings, if that is your thing, or maybe you can make a place in the garden for your pet. There are many ways you can do something like physical, tangible, where you use your body to create something. That is one way of expressing physically some of that love into a tangible, a physical, a real a project. Another way is to, to contemplate the love that our pets have for us. That unconditional loyal, devoted love that they had, that that love is not gone, that love is eternal. And that can be experienced by reconnecting with your pet. There are many ways of doing that, and I will share a few ways that you can do that in the end of the video. And that blocking of when you think that you are cut off from your pet and the love you shared, that is what makes you get stuck in the pain. And when you reconnect with that love, then it becomes possible to move forward and at the same time feel your pet by your side in your heart. And that is what you can experience in the Healing Pet Loss podcast where you have many messages from pets in the afterlife that bring about that feeling, that feeling of being reconnected and how they show you and teach you how that love that they have is eternal and that they are right there with you every step of the way, even after they have passed. Another thing that can be helpful to reflect on or to contemplate when you are are grieving so bad after your pet that you don't want another one is to take a moment and see beyond yourself and think about what you meant not just what your pet meant to you but what you meant to your pet how important you were in your pet's life maybe your pet was a rescue and if you hadn't rescued that pet he wouldn't have experienced the love that he experienced with you or she experienced with you maybe he wouldn't even have a home or he might not even have had a life as long as he had think about the gratitude of your pet and the joy every time you came home think about how how much you meant to your pet and reflect on maybe even journal on some of those many expressions of love and gratitude that they showed you and how much you you meant to them you were their life and as also in many of the journeys i do for for pets in the afterlife they advise you to when you're ready to open your heart and your home to another one in need another pet another animal who needs a home because there are many animals out there that have been through very tough times and are in desperate need of a home but while you you need to take it in your own time and only do when you are ready it's something to to contemplate to think about think about how what how much you meant to your pet and that is, by the way, also one way of um, doing something tangible to, to express your love. But that's also a way of paying tribute to, of honoring your pet, is by helping other animals in need. It could be helping out at a local shelter, for instance. In that way, 
you get to express some of all that love that your heart contains and you help another animal in need. And that is also a way of honoring your animal companion that has passed. And whether you take another animal into your home, that is something that you will see, see what, see what happens. It could also be just helping animals in your garden. It could be helping at a shelter. It could be connecting with birds. It, it can take form in many ways, opening up to the animals around us. But to, um, to help you, if, especially if you're dealing with grief and guilt, the guilt after grief, then there are some special techniques and some special ways that will really help a lot. And that is um, what I will be sharing in my new book, Healing Peddler's Guilt. I, in that book, I share some simple techniques that if you actually take time to to do them i found that in the vast majority of cases they really bring about uh, transformative healing it really brings about healing and the book also contains a number of sacred spirit journeys where you will read the beautiful and healing messages for pets in the afterlife and another thing is, they're not just beautiful messages from pets in the afterlife. The pets are also amazing teachers. So in their messages, they have much advice and action steps you can take and some things to, to reflect on. So it will bring you, it's not not just about doing some exercises it's also inspiring it's a book that is meant to inspire you to bring comfort and to get a feeling of that that connection you can have again with your pet that has passed you will experience that through the messages from pets in the afterlife there and you can you can find it on Amazon, but you can also read more about it on my website, healingpetloss.com. What are you especially struggling with after the loss of your beloved pet? Share in your comments below. Blessings.